There's a beautiful saying that says fortune favors the bold. Uh, and I, you know, I like to add a little thing. I say uh, fortune favors the bold and the brave, right? A brave person is often bold and a bold person is often brave. It takes bravery to be bold and it takes boldness to be brave, right? I just like to say fortune favors the bold and the brave and fortune being luck, you know? So this basically what the saying is meaning in a, in, a, in a nutshell is the more you act with bravery and courage and boldness, the more likely it is for luck to favor you, for you to be lucky. And um, I, th I just remember something also that uh, Terrence McKenna, one of my favorite people, uh, in the psychedelic days, I don't listen to him. Rarely, rarely. I don't remember last time I listened to him. But in the psychedelic days, I listened to him so much. And he he says the mushroom told him that nature loves courage, which is exactly the same as fortune favors the bold. Fortune favors the bold and the brave. And, and, and it is there is absolutely something to that. I, I think nature, the Tao, uh, the force, the, the cosmic forces really love it when someone is being brave, when someone is being bold. And therefore, not always, not always, but often, let's say, will reward that bravery and will reward that boldness with luck. And again, that doesn't always happen. Sometimes you act with boldness and you act with bravery and courage and you eat shit. Okay? Don't, don't think, oh, you know, I'm just going to act with bravery here because, you know, I watched this video by this curly-haired asshole and he says, oh, you know, why don't you be brave and bold because you're going to get lucky, <laughs> all right? So sometimes you eat shit, but often, often, I think often is a good word to say, not always, maybe often, maybe even usually, okay? Often too usually. You will get rewarded. You will get lucky, and you may, it may not happen right away. Okay, it, may, it really it may not happen right away. And I can give lots of examples here. I, I can give lots of examples. Um, I'll give you one example. Um, and I, a lot of you guys, you know, are looking for you know the right person, right? For the right person, uh, you might like someone in your neighborhood, in your gym, wherever you go but you are nervous to talk to him or talk to her to tell them what you think to say hey i really think you're cute now this is where this saying comes in handy you know if you act with bravery and boldness you never know this could be the one this could be the one or you know if it's not the one this could be somebody you have a beautiful connection with and you learn a lot from this connection and it can pave the path for you to find the one because by you being acting with bravery and boldness let's say nothing even happens between you two let's say you you, you ask her out and she says no she has a boyfriend or whatever but you know what you've developed the boldness and the bravery now so that when the one shows up you have the boldness and the bravery to act with that and therefore actually end up with that one as opposed to having her swing by you and not have done anything. You see? You see? It doesn't have to show right away. You know, it doesn't, you don't have to get rewarded with that fortune right away. It can happen five years down the road. Okay? I'll give you another example. Um, investing in cryptocurrency. That takes a lot of balls. Okay? Because it's a pretty shaky market it's a new asset class there's a lot of fud there's a lot of fear around it that you know one tweet can tank the market right somebody prominent like Elon Musk comes and, and, and tanks the market well guess what if you really study the markets and it, it doesn't matter they're fundamentally sound but you need to be brave it's a it's the Wild West and if you invest in particular projects that are solid and you just have the balls, the audacity to go through the dips, to go through everything, to, to just let the FUD play out because you know how fundamentally sound some of these cryptos are, you're going to be rewarded 
heavily if you hold long enough. People who bought Bitcoin uh, 10 years ago are multi-millionaires or even billionaires because they saw it, they studied it, they recognized that's a fundamentally sound idea. They had faith. They acted with boldness and bravery and fortune rewarded them. Okay, and again, it's not always going to do that. Sometimes you act like that and you eat shit. All right? But if you study something long enough and you say, I, I see something in here. This, my intuition tells me this is solid, but I need to act with bravery here. So on and on the list goes, on and on and on and on, right? You hear of these stories of people surviving, Iraq, like doing some really crazy dangerous stuff and surviving. And some people don't survive it. That's when I say sometimes you eat shit. But you hear of stories like people surviving, you know, the unsurvivable. And that's because those forces in nature somehow are attracted to boldness and bravery and courage and they are eager to reward that with either you know it, it doesn't have to be something materially rewarded with it could be a, a, a character something inside of you it could be the absence of fear how about the absence of fear how about that as the greatest reward you get from nature by acting bravely in, in a brave and bold way because if you act in a brave and bold way long enough because to, to act brave bravely you must be afraid but you act brave that's what the definition of bravery is if you're fearless you're not brave because you don't you're not afraid it doesn't take bravery to do something you're not afraid of and if you act with bravery and boldness and courage which is the same as bravery you know courage is another name for bravery if you act with courage, if you're courageous and you do it long enough, at some point you become fearless. And that fearlessness is a wonderful state to live with. It, it, that's the biggest reward right there, to live without fear. To live in a state of peace and relaxation, to not have any fear, no fear of death. Therefore, no fear of death equals no fear of life. A lot of times we, you know, like what if you if you break down everything everything comes down to the fear of death oh i'm afraid to lose my money that's why i can't invest in crypto despite everything lining up despite despite it making perfect sense oh why is that because i don't want to go broke why don't you want to go broke oh because i do, i i, I want to survive oh why do you want to survive because i want to survive but you know you're gonna die one day oh you see you break up everything comes down to fear of death so if you can like do enough brave shit and, and you're like ready to die any moment then you're not afraid of life, you're not afraid of death, therefore you're not afraid of life. That's how it works, okay? So then you live in a liberated state, which you can also say in an enlightened state, right? Um, yeah, so that's, I guess, the moral of the story here is if you feel like you're an unlucky, you're not getting much luck from the universe, you're not getting much luck from life. Try to act bravery and boldly. I can give you an example here. Um, I think tr when you when you leave the country of your origin or the country that you spent most of the time in, it takes some level of bravery to do so. I've certainly done that. I, I've, I've been out of Canada now for almost two years. It will be two years exactly next month. And I've done some brave stuff, man. Like I've done some brave stuff in those two years. I've had a lot of faith that I'm going to be provided for. Uh, I went to places that I I, I spoke zero language. Uh, I went to Georgia during the um, COVID stuff, and I went in there in a time where you know people really did not like foreigners at all, and I got made fun of for being a foreigner. And uh, I've I've got some people that really just. Because I went there at the beginning of the crisis. They didn't want to be anywhere near foreigners. You know, everybody was so scared back then. Um, yeah, yeah. And you know what? I, I got rewarded for it. You know, because I, by luck, I, 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 by a fortune of, by a stroke of beautiful luck. Look where I ended up. I ended up here. I live in this beautiful, beautiful place. This is going to be my home, guys. This is going to be my home. When I say it's going to, it's, it is my home now. It's going to be my home because, uh, you know, we're going to buy, we've decided we're going to buy land here. We're going to live here. 
in if not in Vilcabamba, but somewhere near, you know, somewhere where we can have like buy a big piece of land and just, you know, live off grid. But why is that? Because I kept acting with bravery. I kept, you know, acting with boldness throughout my travels in the last two years, you know. Um, I kept acting with braveness. I kept acting with boldness. And I've noticed that the more I do that, the more I seem to get lucky somehow. So, yeah, I guess the moral of the story is be brave, act boldly and courageously, and um, just trust, have faith, right? Okay. Thank you guys for your support. If you would like to support us financially on this channel, there are two ways you could do them. One, you could become a patron. Two, you could uh, donate, you know, one-time donations on PayPal, right? Just a one-time thing. You don't have to con commit to anything monthly. Uh, and you can do so down below. There's in the description, there's links for Patreon. There's links for PayPal. Um, just to, you know, put it out there, we accept a minimum of $1 million in donations anything less than that is unacceptable okay so the link is down below in the description i love you guys and oh yeah i also do one-on-one -on -one consultations if you're interested to book a call Mwah. until next time may the force be with you